Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea uh, for our Monday morning start of the week uh, update. Man, things are crazy out there with uh, what I'm going to call the Reddit rally in silver. Uh, let's kind of move along to that. I'm sure most of you have been following it. It looks like it's even hit the Wall Street Journal. Uh, I did a click over there, even though I canceled my Wall Street uh, start, uh, Journal uh, subscription. Uh, man, it's the first time I've ever seen them just endlessly talk about uh, uh, silver here. Uh, so it's kind of some really cool things going on, and silver is up quite a bit today. Uh, but I've got some concerns about this. Uh, meanwhile, uh, if you have missed it, which I doubt unless you're living under a rock, um, <laughs> Reddit forums and this uh, get particular group I think called Wall Street Bets um, have uh, uh, attacked short positions uh, in the uh, stock market. Uh, particularly, uh, I believe it was GameStop and a, uh, another company, uh, AMC, and some others as well. And they had uh, drove the stocks up so much uh, that they've all collectively kind of gotten wealthy off this. Uh, it's not much indifferent than, uh, you know, a corporation doing it or, or, or a small group of guys doing it or something like that under the guise of a uh, hedge fund or something. Uh, so it's very similar. But, you know, it kind of shows you how these markets can be played around with fairly easily. Uh, you know, are you in it for the fundamentals or are you just pile driving into it just to make it lots of money? And that's what a lot of hedge funds do, a lot of corporations, a lot of billionaires do that, millionaires do that. Uh, and now a group of uh, young people on uh, on Reddit forums have gotten together and, uh, and teamed together and done it themselves. Uh, so, I mean, you know, is it any more illegal than what the rest of the people have been doing? I don't know. I doubt it. Uh, so let's take a look here. It's been nuts. Silver surges most since Lehman bankruptcy. Hits a seven-year high. Uh, now, uh, uh, again, this is on uh, Zero Hedge. I'm a Zero Hedge subscriber. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with Zero Hedge, you can look at these articles for free. It's a great site to get all kinds of different opinions, uh, economically, politically, and all that stuff. Uh, again, uh, diverse opinions, and you believe what you want and uh, uh, read what you want. Uh, anyway, the article talks about... Uh, uh, silver hitting almost, it says over 30 bucks. I didn't see that on the spot prices. Maybe the future prices, uh, uh, silver surges most, doesn't say futures. Uh, maybe the future prices hit over 30, but I didn't see a high of uh, 30 bucks yet in the spot prices, at least the ones that I use. Uh, but it's been a long time coming, but for precious metals fans, the day of joy has finally arrived. Uh, you know, I've got some misgivings about this day of joy. First off, we've already, before GameStop and before this, uh, we were in a really good position with gold and silver. We've already known it's going to go up uh, as a result of dollar printing and everything like this. Do we really need a bunch of millennials that have short attention spans jumping into this market, uh, driving everything up real high, uh, and then uh, dropping the hammer on it when they lose interest? You know, I don't know. That could actually hurt the silver market, possibly. Uh, on the other hand, I think if they start to understand what they've really gotten invested in, and they look at it from that angle, and uh, they've lengthened their attention spans a little bit, this could be quite a hell of an addition uh, to what we were going to see already in precious metals market, including silver. Everyone's known silver's been too cheap. Maybe these millennials that are kind of discovering these short positions in silver will discover the same data that we've always known. Uh, and that will be a big plus for us. Uh, however, if they're just looking at it as short-term getting rich, uh, that's not good for any market, GameStop, any market. Uh, and of course, we know that uh, uh, these millennials and these uh, Reddit group right here is not the only ones that do this. Like I said, big hedge funds do this. Uh, billionaires do this. They go in and they short stocks. Uh, it's not much different than what you know, uh, uh, a million people combined is not doing it together is not much different than just one person doing it, except a million people are getting richer <laughs> as opposed to one person. What's wrong with that? Uh, however, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, in my opinion. Uh, European silver miners, you know, I don't ex I don't understand why the miners would rise in price. That, that you know, someone explained that to me down in comments. What is that going to do for the price of uh, uh, physical silver? You know, remember, uh, they... they they play with these paper markets, these large hedge funds, these large brokers, and the people that create these paper markets play with these paper markets. So they're unallocated. They're, they, 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 a lot of them may not even own the metal that they claim to own or it may be owned by different people. Uh, so why would people get involved with uh, paper markets and silver? Re what they really want to do is you want to buy physical or demand physical delivery if you can, uh, like you could on COMEX or the London markets, demand physical delivery, make a contract, uh, demand delivery. 
that would be the way to do it right there. But I'm not quite sure what buying uh, 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 silver manufacturers, unless it's a long-term play, uh, you, you're not really going to force the hand of the shorts from buying a, a uh, silver mentors, people that mine silver and such, uh, the miners. Uh, however, the miners are up quite a bit, and it doesn't take much to move miners up. But I think what people forget, you're, you're, when you're buying mining stocks, you are not buying silver. You're buying the company. Uh, you're buying the company that produces the silver. You're buying all the board members, all their decisions, whether it's good or bad. You're not buying silver. Uh, anyway, let me move on to there. Uh, Trying to pour cold water on the second biggest one-day move in this, uh, this century, Let, because let's face it, getting silver to move up 10% is far more difficult than getting a low-float, super-squeezed stock like GM to soar by 1,600%. And that's exactly true. Uh, great article, by the way. You need to read this. It's been nuts. Silver surges most since Lehman bankruptcy. hit seven-year high. Um, that's on your homework today, you know, uh, and I think it's real important considering that this has actually bumped up silver by like almost three bucks an ounce. So, uh, yeah, you need to be reading this if you're listening to my report and you have listened to my reports for the last several months. This is uh, important today. Uh, let's see what happens, though. Uh, yet, as G Bloomberg correctly notes, I'm going to just do a few points on here. I want you to read the rest yourself. Uh, as Bloomberg correctly notes, silver differs in important ways from stocks like GameStop. For one, the scope of the silver, sh uh, the short squeeze in silver is far less obvious. Money managers have had net positions on the metal since the mid 2019s futures and options data from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission show. Oh, that's all in one breath. Uh, more or less, it's going to be a much harder market to move because there's a lot. It's a lot deeper market, uh, and really, again, what I'm emphasizing here is there's a lot more paper than there is real gold and silver. I think the the mistake that a lot of uh, uh, people that are jumping into mining stocks and jumping into uh, paper uh, paper type uh, uh, products are, are, are thinking is that oh well you know it says I own an ounce of gold here or that I'm buying this mining company so I own their gold no mining companies don't own their own gold most of the time they pre-sold it folks so remember if you're buying mining stocks because you think you're buying gold no 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 uh, you're buying gold when you're buying gold you're buying gold not a piece of paper not a company you need to put it in your hands or get it in your hands somehow that's the same thing with silver you need to get it in your hands so this is all about physical and I'm gonna move on to the next thing here which they talk about uh, physical shortages over the weekend. Uh, we, if you listen to my show, I've been talking about physical shortages for a long time. You know, they kind of pop up. They popped up during the virus last spring. Uh, premiums just went haywire. Uh, you know, over a year ago, before even the coronavirus, uh, you know, I had a couple times where we were placing relatively small orders for like 5,000 ounces of physical silver uh, in smaller ounces, you know, not 1,000 ounce bars, but uh, hundreds and uh, uh, ones and such. And we had a very difficult time sourcing that, which you wouldn't think for 5,000 ounces of silver, considering how much silver is supposed to be out there. Um, so, I mean, this shortage thing has been popping up for quite some time. Silver's been really, really, really hot. Be again, before the coronavirus, uh, before uh, people worrying about the dollar, you know, silver's been a good market. It's kind of been piled into. Uh, however, you, you wouldn't know it by the paper markets at all. Uh, so that's kind of uh, what I'm saying is the paper markets are endless. Endless. There's no depth to them. If you, if they if this uh, 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 group thinks that they're going to corner the market by buying these uh, miners and and paper uh, 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 paper gold and paper silver, they're they're nuts. They're they're eluding. They're deluding themselves. Uh, anyway, I move along here. Atmex says they're completely out of gold this weekend. All the other ones. Uh, say they're out of gold and silver. I think I have a load of Silver Eagle still left. I have to see what if I can get them replaced here because for us, you know, it's not that we don't want to sell our product. You know, a lot of people were saying, well, dealers hold their product and they don't want to sell it, you know, when it goes up and they get greedy. Uh, well, that's not really true at all, folks. The problem is, is when you are a dealer in precious metals, you keep a certain amount of ounces on hand. Our phones are going crazy today, of course. <laughs> you keep a certain amount of ounces on hand uh, uh, to buy and sell, to do business with. Uh, and every time we sell, you know, a thousand ounces, for example, of silver, or every time we sell, you know, 20 ounces of gold or 100 ounces of gold, we replace it. Uh, at the same price, because remember, we're just here to make the VIG, you know, this, the, the 20 30 40 dollars that we're going to make per ounce on gold, you know, the 25 cents to a couple dollars we're going to make on silver per ounce. Uh, that's how we make our money. Uh, so if we were to sell all our position and we call all the other uh, wholesalers and people that uh, sell metal and they don't have it, 
uh, or, or they're in the same position, then we're kind of screwed. You can't do business anymore. That's that's not a business plan, folks, and that's certainly not being greedy, at least to the level of just trying to make more money. That's just trying to stay in business. So anyway, glad I got that over. Uh, and the other thing, my prices are way cheaper than Atmex, SD Bullion, and all the other uh, online uh, uh, bullion sites. But the problem is you have to deal with me local. I only deal locally. I don't deal online. Eh, maybe someday I will. <laughs> Anyways, it is just nuts, crazy out there. Make sure you read this article. It's been nuts, silver surge most since Lehman bankruptcy. Uh, you can read it on, free on Zero Hedge, uh, or you can do what I do, pay the dollar a day subscription and not have to deal with all the advertisements that pop up on that uh, free one. Uh, let's take a look at a few things here. I don't think I need to look at that. I'm going to move along here. Uh, Wall Street Journal, when they start talking about silver, wow, something crazy is happening. But that's probably where all the clueless people that are buying miners are going, at least in my opinion. If I'm wrong about this miners thing, let me know. I don't know why you would buy miners if you're trying to corner uh, the physical markets. But anyway, uh, GameStop slips while silver and AMC soar to start the week. That's from Wall Street Journal, folks. <laughs> I guess I didn't keep my subscription long enough for 15 years to actually see them say something positive about silver. Uh, anyway, they don't really say it so much down here. They just kind of say that uh, uh, these young people are, are not too smart. Uh, let's take a look here. Large silver ETFs post biggest inflow ever on Friday. So on Friday, uh, you start, saw a large amount of ETFs being bought. But again, I don't quite understand that. Uh, and considering that Ted Butler talks about the ETFs having to uh, or, or, or not having allocated gold uh, or silver to back up what they have. Um, I think I've seen Ted say that they're leveraged and that uh, like if, if you think you own like one shares SLV or GLD that's uh, uh, like an ounce of gold or an ounce of silver, no, you and a bunch of other people probably own that. Uh, but anyways, uh, ETFs uh, kind of exploded on uh, Friday. I guess that was the easiest way for most people to figure out how to buy silver and gold since uh, mo only the old school folks remember <laughs> actually buying coins and bars uh, and still, but you know, a lot of young folks understand buying coins and bars. I shouldn't say that. Uh, gold silver ratio tumbles as silver prices surge. Absolutely, we're waiting for that to happen. But again, I remind you here, uh, the short attention span of these uh, uh, people that are going after the large short positions on Reddit. Uh, are they in silver for the long haul? Do they understand what they're buying? I'm not quite, you know, not, not all of them, but I'm not sure all of them uh, uh, understand what exactly they're buying and what they need to buy and how they need to, to, to go about this. Uh, otherwise, they're going to get frustrated and they're going to walk away and uh, silver is just going to drop again. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, and then we'll be back to where we work. And we did not need a Reddit group to drive up the price of silver. This is kind of premature in my opinion. However, I'll take what we can get here and if this is a catalyst to get it moving faster, fine with me and fine with you. Uh, but anyway, let me move up the article a little bit here. Uh, GameStop, AMC, um, Big Monday winners, silver miners. And again, I'll have to read that, but it makes no with recent day trader excitement spilling over to other corners of the market, where there's no reason to spill over to the miners, folks. I think the people that are buying there, buying miners, are misconstruing what it, what they're really buying. You need to buy real metal, hold it in your hands, not a piece of paper or a company through a miner. Uh, but anyways, that's my opinion. If I'm wrong, or if you think, you know, I'm missing something here, please make a comment below. I will answer it for sure. So, Wall Street Journal, silver and AMC shoot higher in early Monday trading. Uh, what a combination, silver and AMC, who knew? <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to move along from here. We already know what's happening. Let's take a look at markets. Uh, last night, I did a little video as the markets open. It immediately went from uh, $27 an ounce, if you watched that little show I did last night for a few minutes, uh, $27 an ounce to like uh, uh, $28.50, a buck and a half, just like that. Uh, I was really surprised. It looked like overnight it's traded even a little higher. Uh, here's what it is when I j last refresh this. This is a static screen on precious metals uh, with CCE, a great company uh, I've been with for a long, 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 long time. And uh, let me take a look here and do a refresh. Ready? Uh, let's take a quick refresh here and we can look at the highs and lows here as well. Uh, looks like 29.65, so uh, gold, I mean, silver's up about $2.61. 
Uh, I'm going to focus on silver first here, since that's the uh, the big uh, winner of the day and of the week, actually. And I love silver anyway. The gains on silver are so great, and the percentages are so great. Um, let's look at this range. Uh, Twenty-eight. Well, hmm. Twenty-eight dollars uh, uh, low and a high at twenty-nine ninety-six. And actually, from Friday's open, it was actually twenty-seven. So take a look right there. There you go. Twenty-seven dollars an ounce to where we are right now. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Uh, uh, high, almost a three dollar uh, up over the weekend here uh, between now and uh, uh, when it opened yesterday, uh, or closed on Friday, I should say. So I mean that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, but again, I haven't seen a crack above thirty on the uh, spot markets, at least uh, what I'm looking at here. Maybe in futures we have. Uh, what's gold and silver doing? I mean, gold and platinum doing well. <laughs> Platinum's kind of following its uh, cut white cousin there, uh, 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 silver. Uh, white metal uh, at forty-four dollars and seventy-eight cents up. Wow, wow. You know, but you know what? Don't. I'm not telling you to sell. You're not selling in this market. I wouldn't advise it. Uh, silver, even with this uh, up like it is, I'm not advising selling unless you've been needing to sell for a while now and been waiting for the right time. Well, this could be it. This could be a right time. Just tough to say with this. Uh, 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 short attention span of uh, uh, Reddit users and uh, uh, these guys. Uh, again, that's just my opinion. That's not a diss either because uh, I think they're doing quite well, frankly. And gold, uh, up $15.87. Looks like gold is being the steady, uh, <laughs> the steady older sibling of them all and silver acting wild and crazy again. But again, uh, the reason silver is acting wild and crazy is not because of, of its normal self and its normal wild swings, uh, but because someone's jacked it up on some money and sugar, or sugar, it's like jacking a child up on sugar. It's just uh, uh, gone crazy uh, just since uh, Friday's close. Anyways, uh, that's really about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. I think I still may have a ton of Silver Eagles available uh, for sale, even though it's not my favorite product to sell, and the premiums are just insane, and I wouldn't normally recommend them. However, if there's nothing available out there, we're kind of stuck. Uh, and uh, I also think that I may have 1-ouncers and 100-ouncers available still. Uh, so anyway, give me a call, 954 493-8811 between the hours of 10 and 4 on this crazy Monday and uh, see what I can do for you as far as uh, getting product for you and if you got any product for sale definitely call me uh, I do pay more than anyone else does locally I also sell cheaper than anyone else does locally and, and also online but the problem with the online thing is I don't sell online I only sell face to face we're brick and mortar uh, we don't do online bullion sales uh, and that's for my own personal reasons anyways thanks for watching if anything crazier happens at the end of the day I'll get back to you if not hey man buy and hold if you can I'm not saying buy right now but hold for sure folks uh, uh, and again I'm not recommending sell it's, it's below 30 we you know we before this reddit thing we expected it to blow way above 30 at some point and it will with or without reddit maybe reddit's a great catalyst we'll see anyways have a great day talk to you soon